All right. Be back soon. There's a lot of trash for Resuvius. This is most of the trash in the zone. Why do you have fireworks? Um... Amazing, Akbar. That imp's riding on your back? That's awesome. Oh. Never any treasure? Come on, man. Oh, it gets smaller each time. I think it's going to end eventually. It doesn't. <laughs> I, oh, wait. I can't click it anymore. Wait, well, I'm, I'm frozen. I'm petrified. Help. <laughs> what is... <laughs> uh... The I song. By looking in the orb. I'll put a. I'll put a link to the song. And keep playing. It's called. Uh, oh. Uh, I can't. I don't know what you. You know what? Have you guys ever read a song and you don't know which part is the artist and which part is the title? <laughs> this is. It's, it's. I think it's called Okay. 
by 13 ounce. Okay, makes sense. All right. Uh, here's the here. Where's my chat? Eh. Okay. Uh, all right. Resuvius time, baby. Not wild classic. Everything monitor. That's what we're doing. Oh, all God. right. There's spiders. Wait, Agbar, what's happened to you? <laughs> what the hell know. is going on? I left for five <laughs> minutes. What is this? You guys are about, killing infants and what? Not the younglings. Are you rolling around? Oh, okay. Wait, does this work? Oh, it does. I'm fast. <laughs> nice. Wait, does it? Doesn't one of the mobs in here drop the super monkey ball? That was my one of my favorite toys because I because super monkey ball is one of my favorite games. Um, I, I think Patchwork drops it. It, it puts this big purple sphere around you i that that had to have been in lich king though that wouldn't have been in classic right wait what's happening what is this debuff you are affected by moon feather fever okay prolonged exposure can result in feathery consequences oh Should no oh Pirate. there that's the super monkey ball yeah you turn into a gorilla yeah fun has it uh <laughs> yeah. Super, yeah yeah right that's the name it's not super monkey ball it's the super simian sphere that's right that's great okay um all right resuvius so this is what we call uh, either the death knight wing or the military wing um the the whole wing is just three bosses um the first two are considered pretty pretty easy right we got resuvius and gothic um four horsemen are a different story four horsemen i i think are considered the hardest fight in all of classic um so that'll be fun when we get to that uh but for first we got to we're basically right here we gotta go through all of here down these stairs around here and then to resuvius and we got to kill all the trash along the way because he may or may not or all the trash may or may not charge us when when we engage him we're not 100% sure on that. If anyone is 100% sure, let me know. Um, uh, if if we can skip trash on the way to Resuvius, because there's a lot. So if we can, then it, it will be worth skipping trash, I think. Um, but if not, then we're going to have a lot of trash to go through. So let's bring up the trash guide. All right. Okay, here's the trash. Uh, Death Knights and Risen Death Knights. Okay. Um, so the the Death Knights, just normal Death Knights, uh, have an AOE fear. It's it's an intimidating shout. All right, that uh, that'll hit five people. Okay, so not everyone. That's okay. All right. They also have a, a veil of darkness. That oh, that isn't the usual seventy five percent reduction of healing. It's a hundred percent, but it's that might be a curse so that might be that might be fixable and then uh and then raise dead which will summon ads the death chill servants okay we also have the risen death knights um that they <laughs> they're tank and spank except they just have random threat drops okay interesting um this says for these packs you you, you need your tremors because the aoe fear uh, yeah, you yeah, it is a curse. So you, you decurse the, the veil of darkness, taunt the death. Oh, look how tidy I am. <laughs> oh, what the hell's going on? What is going on in here? What is this? A Stark look shard? How, look at how little I Agbar! <laughs> Agbar, what happened? <laughs> Agbar, you look amazing. Okay, we're talking about death. Right. Wait, is that is that their name in here? Or did they did they fix the naming? Death Knight. There's Death Knight Captains. Death Space Knight, not one word. Death Knight Captain. Wait, how did I become a Moonkin? This is great. Oh, is it because of all these? Oh, are these the feathery consequences? Okay, we have Necro Knights. It might be different in in this version, but let's just let's go back and and read all the trash first. I think. All right. Let's get back to the guide. Sure was. 
Uh, wasn't there a um, RD says wasn't there a buff that could be stolen that made parts of Nax easier? Well, like spell steal isn't shield? a thing for us. In yeah, classic. we don't get spell steal yet, unfortunately. I love spell steal. There, there's a couple of cool ones in Shadowlands. That there I've might, done. there might be purge. Um. Okay. Well, so, to purge something. oh, here's the here are the captains. So, uh, um, so when when we fight the Death Knights, we just, uh, yeah, we look out for the fear. We probably want to LOS pull them or at least pull them back so that we don't get feared into more trash. I swear every time I turn to game, there's something else going on. <laughs> Wait, Akbar, you're dying. What yeah, is yeah. this? Don't worry about it. Okay. All right. So here, here are the first trash packs. Um, there Are there guys back here? There, well, I don't know. This Again, this I might be different. So. I think it, this first pull is only two. Okay, so we deal with those guys. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna kill them yet. Let's just stay here. Um, let's read about the next trash now. All right. So we also have these Death Knight captains. Um, they have heavy hitting melee and they also whirlwinds. The whirlwind also knocks down, which is effectively a stun. These guys can and should be disarmed. Oh, they're, they're disarmable. Perfect. Uh, melee should also just run out when the whirlwind starts. Uh. It might be hard to run out if you're knocked down, but the first tick of damage might you might have a few seconds or something. Um, okay, next packs. Whew. Got another page of trash. Hang in there, fellas. All right, the next packs you run into involve a shade of Naxxramas and Necro Knights. All right, uh, this pack patrols. I did see that pack walking back before, um, so we might just get it. So we 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 do have to watch it between our pulls. Um, the Shades of Naxxramas, they spawn ghost portals. I'm not sure what that means. It's something that spawns ads, maybe. And and they also have a Shadow Bolt Volley. Okay? The Necro, Necro Knights have an Arcane Explosion every three seconds. And then <laughs> and they randomly blink to you. So you're never safe. <laughs> You'll want to... If this says you want to take out the Necro Knights first and then kill the Shade. Um, and then if ghosts spawn out of the ghost portals... You just run up. Oh, oh, the, they're maybe they're those untargetable ghosts or something that that hits you that you just have to kite. I don't remember. If, if that's the case, then that's easy. Yeah, then then we would kill the Necro Knights first. All right, more trash. Um, Death Knight. Okay, then we have. Uh, then we'll find more packs with Death Knights, Death Knight Captains, which we've which we've dealt with already, but they'll also have touched warriors. The Touch Warriors do a threat a threat chop, um, kind of like the Risen Death Knights, which we haven't seen yet. Uh, but they have a, a threat chop. The kill order that th that they suggest in here is the Death Knights first, then the Touched Warriors, then the Death Knight Captain. The Death Knight first, I guess, because of the AOE fear, is is pretty nasty. The, yeah, and the and the threat drop probably sucks, but it's not the worst, right? And It'll then probably threat drop to a melee. And then the and then the captains. Uh, oh, and the captains can just be disarmed the whole time, so they're they're not a big deal. I I think is why they have them, uh, last. Okay, so uh, make sure to pull the captain out of the cleaves. Do their whirlwinds. Oh, okay. So maybe we just we just off tank them somewhere else. Okay, cool. Uh, skeletal smiths will run into um they they sunder us. oh i remember these guys yeah yeah these guys sunder us these jerks um they and they also disarm us what is going on in here what what is this a fish why is there a fish you're playing catch with a fish and i launched it and it's stuck in the wall now oh you can kick it oh it's not in line of sight uh oh i got it, I got it stuck Dang, this boss is hard. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So this is the strategy for Resuvius. You got to get in this corner and <laughs> click the hell out of this fish. All right. We're almost there. All right. Then then a teddy bear is going to appear on the floor. You guys remember this, right? From Classic? All right. So, yeah. <laughs> Make sure you dodge the earthen familiar. Don't worry about the no mage. He's part of this. Okay. All right. We're yeah, going to... Sorry. We're going to... We're going to... easily distracted. <laughs> Um, 
We actually can kill these first two rooms, I think, and then we'll... Oh! Actually, no, we can't. We still need to do the smiths. Never mind. A lot there's of only, trash. There's only two smiths. Yeah, so they... I think, or they, three. They have a sunder. Uh, they'll disarm whoever's highest threat, and they also have a thunderclap. So they're just annoying, basically. Uh, there's also a couple of them, so just group them up and AoE. Yeah. War, oh, we, they, we can also disarm them. Okay, they're just whatever. Then we'll run into more Death Knights, Death Knight Captains. Okay, until you get to the Death Knight Cavaliers and Death Lords. Okay, so I'm going to stop here and then do the first couple of rooms. So we have this first really easy pull uh, that's just the two Death Knights. So we'll pull them apart. Um, I think maybe, did we used to do this like in like opposite corners in here? Because of, because of their fear, I think we maybe tank them in opposite corners. Um, I mean, I, honestly, it would make more sense to stack them on top of each other if, the fear, yeah. if they do the fear at the same time. Yeah, and I mean, our, our damage is just so it. good. Oh, spell steal! Now I have hysteria. <laughs> yeah, I think we stack them. Get a fresh one. My physical damage has increased. So, the, this trash is also different here than it will be. Because these mobs... Death coil, they don't death coil, and they definitely don't have hysteria. Oh, death coil. Yeah. Yo, yeah. This thing that I keep spell stealing. All right. Um, so, yeah. Maybe we'll just stack them if the fear isn't that bad. If, if, it's, if it really is only five people at a time, then maybe we'll just stack them. All right. So, this next room is packed. I remember it being packed. So, first up, we have these roamers in the hallway that are coming towards me right now. These are the Necronites and the Shades. Okay. So... As a quick review, there's the arcane explosion. Yeah, the um, uh, the Necronites are the arcane explosion, and the shades are the ghost portals and the shadow and the the shadow bolt volley. Right. So, so we get there's all portal. There are the portals. Do we want to probably LOS pull pull these guys? Oh, the, well, yeah, this, pull them back to this room. Everything this are, in that room is going to come to this room. This arcane explosion has a cast time. I don't know if it if they actually will. But they're cast they're casting all sorts of stuff, so yeah, we'll LOS them behind basically right here, this corner where we are, I think is fine. Um these they're the ghosts that are coming out of this is the that ghost they portal. Targetable. Yeah, yeah. So so these are just like that the like the ghosts in um Sunken Temple that you have to kite them or they'll do a bunch of damage to you. But apparently there's also we also got Frost Novid, so that'll be fun. <laughs> um so yeah, that red portal, that's the ghost portal that these guys come out of. Uh, the shades are the ones that summon them. But since the ghosts are avoidable, uh, it, it recommends we'll we, just kill the we, we kill the first. Necronites first because that arcane explosion is might be devastating. So They don't look like they have that much health. And then we, yeah, then we'll kill the, yeah, kill the shade last and... Okay, next pack. Um... We have a couple of captains. Oh, well, so we have roamers back here, and then this one just chilling right in the middle. Ooh, they got tier three on. We'll pull them first. Um, we have captains, dark touched warriors, which which might be the the death knight. The whirlwind uh, mobs. Yeah. They whirlwind. Okay, whirlwinds, and then um, uh, the death knight captains are the ones summoning the ghouls, maybe right. They take stun, pretty much all of them. Yeah, so these guys can all be stunned and disarmed. So it it's like it looks like a lot of mobs, but the captain can't be stunned. So we'll probably take the captain off by himself. All right, so one person on the captain. Um, here, I'll try to do that. Nope, one tick of that kills him. Never mind. All right, so let's say I'm over here with the captain. Um, uh, and then if we do have all these other guys, yeah, like the dark touched. Or, or whatever's they can probably be stacked and like and the death knights they can probably well, we'll just probably want to not stack the mail at the whirlwind guys unless we can control them if we can get them hmm. stunned and everything okay we'll we'll just see like what, if we put a what rogue it... if we put a rogue on each uh uh whirlwind guy they can probably lock them down and then we can just cleave them okay 
All right. So yeah, I, I don't think this will be too bad. I, I remember these packs always seeming really intimidating. Um, but aren't actually that hard. Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. Like, yeah. So let's blast through them. It's, it's really like that. Just there, there's just a lot of them is the thing about these packs. So, um, yeah. Yeah. I remember uh, we'll have, maybe can you sheep the, uh, these we'll are in the next room. These guys are marked undead, so I don't think so. Oh, are all of them marked undead? Yes. No, the, the, the warriors are not. Oh, they're not? Oh, no, interesting. The warriors are marked as... So here's the smith. Yeah, they're humanoids. That the, So these dark touch warriors aren't mentioned in, in this trash guide. I don't know if... Uh, Those are the whirlwind mobs that are... I think they just got renamed. Yeah, the, the ones that are the... Risen Death Knights? Because we still have Death Knight Captains. But I haven't seen the Risen Death Knights. That possibly. Okay. Um. All right. Let's keep going through this pack. Uh, over here. So, are... I don't know if these this... constructs exist. Sorry, I think go, they go do, ahead. but they don't really do anything. Okay. So yeah, then we have the Smiths. They're kind of whatever. These, so this where I'm jumping. Um, is where the mob spawns that teaches people the Frost Resist set. Okay. If there's an NPC in here that you talk to that gives you a quest. So here's yeah. So here's all of Nax. Okay, this is the the military quarter. Okay, it's right here where my mouse is right now. Right there. I'll go back in the military quarter. So basically that the first big room before we step out onto this balcony. This little area is a balcony that you can see over there. There's a guy and I we'll probably call it then and and we can all get it or whoever needs it. So all right, next up. Uh, See if you can sheep these guys. All right. The warriors. Yep. You can. Whether or not that remains the case in Classic, we'll find out. Yeah. But you can sheep them here. And Hex. Yeah. Okay. So, I remember... Yeah, so this whole balcony is just filled with more trash packs. Um, and roamers. So... We got a rumor. If we run into a new mob, we'll, we'll wait. But otherwise, let's just keep going. I think so, the only new mobs are underneath. On the yeah. Next level. So, so we basically like we clear room here by like we kill that first pack, and then we pull this next pack back to us, and then and then we pull that pack back to the room we just cleared, etc. Um, depending on the pack like makeup, we have different tank assignments. Like every pack is a little bit different, so um, we'll just take it one by one when we get in there. Okay, so once we uh, finish the whole balcony part, we get to go down the ramp. This is the level that Resuvius is on, but there's still a bunch of trash. We have these... Uh, oh, this is new trash. So these are the, the Cavaliers, the guys on horses. Resuvius is over in that direction, but we have this whole room that we may or may not need to clear for Resuvius. Um, we're not sure. We always did, but yeah. we're not sure why. Right. Okay, um, I'm going to bring the trash guy back up. Let's talk about the horse guys. They, these guys aggroed. I think they just charge. Okay, let me see. Um, oh, they silence. That's fun. All right, so we have Death Knight Cavaliers and Death Lords. Um, these guys have an aura of agony that does damage. Interesting. A cleave and a death coil. Uh, stack them up and AoE, AoE them down, really? Okay. Uh, shamans use their grounding totems to eat up the death coil? Can it do that? Yep. Okay. It's a targeted ability. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, why not? All right. Cool. Um, We'll also run into skeletal steeds. Uh, they intercept. Uh, so the, these are going to be the things that charge us. They, they have an intercept and an AoE trample. So they'll like they'll probably run to the range and stun them all and do crap like that. Um, it this just suggests that you taunt on intercept and try to avoid the trample if you can. Uh, so I I think they might be a little different in here. Yeah, these mobs are different because these mobs have death knight abilities that weren't in the game yet. Oh okay. Well, so when we're actually in game, well yeah we'll have to see. But the mobs down here I actually 
don't think are, are may, maybe that bad. It's just, again, we have to go through and clear them all out. Yeah, I don't know okay, if he's... The steeds, the, the, I want to see what oh, steed charge. There is a steed. Oh, my imps killed him. All right, let's go. <laughs> here, here we go. Let's just go body pull these. Let's try to stay within like 20 yards maybe and see if they'll charge back. There's the charge. Yeah. Is it to anyone random though? Oh, there. Yeah. There's to Agbar. Okay. And it, it looks like it tramples anyone in the line in the area. In oh, the fantastic. <laughs> so we kind of have to spread out. That's easy. Yeah. Know. Yeah. Everyone spread out because, because this trample is AOE too. So spreading out on these makes a lot of sense. Did we did we use them to like pull the first pack like the Romer pack like all the way up or something weird? Yep. We fought basically everything upstairs again until yeah. we had this first root area clear. Right. Did I don't know if that's gonna be worthwhile this time around. Um, it, it'll just depend on on how fast the trash dies because the trash used to die slowly, right? Like this whole section would take a while just to get to Resuvius. I I don't think it'll take as long, right? Like this this isn't gonna feel like like the path between um twin ems no. and Cthulhu, right like that this is going to be a little bit of a clear it's just a lot of mobs like a high but volume but yeah but the pulls are big and they they die pretty quick so once once everyone understands the abilities and like how to get the fears and eat the death coils and all that will be good all right we don't actually have mind control to show how this works oh uh i have i have a priest um no that's fine we can deal without my good does like, anyone have I'll, okay we'll just show it okay yeah yeah that's fine i i don't think it'll be a big deal okay so but it, it will the fight will look like this so we have resuvius and we have his four understudies okay the understudies are whacking away in each corner and he walks between them to like check on them and he's like oh yeah good job so uh i only mention this because it's actually important to the poll um where where resuvius is will matter we want him back more we want him away from us we can mind uh soothe the uh all four of them i think but we can mind soothe these front guys so that we can actually do the poll by having um uh, our two priests mind control at the same time or we can do it the uh the way we used to which i believe we had a hunter pull them all back and then, and then each uh, warrior would take their mob or something. Do, well, do you I remember Agbar? I think what we're going to want to do is we're basically going to want a mind control pull. All right. So, so if, if we want to do that, like, immediately heal so that the mobs don't all go run up to that mind control mob. But we want mind control there immediately to grab Resuvius because you're going to get one shot if you don't. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, Let's talk about these guys. These guys hit really hard. These guys do not mess around. None of them mess around. Um, well, the understudies, I guess, don't don't hit super hard. But Resuvius, he will. People if he if he hits you, you're dead. Through, my, through shield wall. Yeah, yeah. We could have uh, yeah our biggest beefiest boy use shield wall and he'll still die. So I uh, so what do we do? Well, we mind control these understudies and we use them to tank resuvius because they got a way more health than we do look this guy's level 30 he's got forty eight thousand, and i only got seventeen thousand. all right so we might also have a shield wall ability yeah so so when these guys are mind controlled they have they have a few abilities mm -hmm. um let me bring it up so i make sure i don't miss anything but uh, uh um they, yeah they have a taunt a shield wall let me just bring it up Resuvius. I want the original one. Hold on. Yay, okay. So, um so Resuvius himself does a ton of damage through uh yeah, through through his big unbalancing strike. This says it can do 50k damage to a clockware. Oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, so that that's just gonna and that goes off a lot and will will just kill people. He also has this thing called disrupting shout. Um, this sucks. It's, it has a huge range, so outranging it isn't too much of an option. 
and it uh and it reduces your mana by four thousand and also deals a ton of damage based off of the amount of mana it burns and stuns you you never ever want to take one of these they're cast every 25 seconds so they're predictable um this claims mages can ice block through which is cool uh the rest of us are going to use this corner over mages here are going to have ice blocks so that doesn't oh yeah matter. true oh that's true they're gonna be fire right um okay so the rest of us can use this corner it might not look like it at first but but this is actually los to this entire area over here so if we're over here we're not going to get hit by that shout so we'll have a timer on that shout and when that happens you gotta go back here um uh tanks that are going to be off tanking these guys so we're only gonna have two mind control at a time um uh because of how long the the taunt lasts let me get back into that not this <laughs> uh there we go okay um so the understudies um so they have a they have a taunt oh here we go oh yeah so so when they're mind controlled so so our main mind controllers i think are going to be miso and burl with myself as a backup if if one of them die um uh so when they're mind controlled um we have taunt and shield wall but it's different than a normal one they they last 20 seconds uh the and the, the cooldown for shield wall apparently is only 30 seconds um and the taunt is actually on a one minute cooldown so the way we have to, that has to work is we you always want taunt to be on resuvius but remember taunt lasts for 20 seconds but during during that whole 20 seconds he is only going to be on that understudy you don't have to worry about it because taunt is acting actively on him so the idea is that you start with with two mobs one you start with two mobs one will will start tanking um let, let's just say misos will start tanking resuvius's uh the other mob will we call it just preparing the mob basically but we'll have him ready so after so he'll taunt immediately after those 20 seconds are up then burl will taunt and then at that point uh a miso will be able to go back here where we're going to be off tanking the other understudies he'll be able to go back up here pick up a fresh one with all its cooldowns up go and then go back in here and taunt again and then when it's burl's turn then he'll go back here pick up a fresh one and then go back and tank etc etc you want to make sure you're rotating between them if you can uh because then you can keep up taunt the the whole time these guys can also be healed when they're uh when they're they have to be yeah they're after they have to be really yeah when when they're mind controlled so the healer's job of this fight is is to is to heal like crazy uh on on these guys they're gonna be taking a ton of damage so healers are gonna be able to use their their big boy heals and uh yeah big stuff so we can treat this a lot like we treat fire maw and chromag where basically the tank is gonna stand where i am and resuvius is gonna be on the ramp here and the healers can just stand right here and they will never have to worry about shouts they can just sit here and heal ah right the because they actually see, see, see where i am yeah so we can have the we can have the uh the actual tank the person that's being healed here right and it's yeah right just like this Fireball. breaks line of sight right perfect that yeah that that's a great idea um so yeah yeah so then healers can just stand here then really all you have to do is uh you need to make sure you're healing the off tanks because since there's four mobs and we only mind control two at a time i mean there is a strat with four mind controls but it's no unnecessary. no yeah it's fine that we'll just yeah we'll do it the normal way um because we don't need to do it yeah so we'll uh so that anyone yeah the guys that aren't actively mind controlled we have off tanks back here um i don't think it's a ton of damage we just need to make sure we keep them alive so maybe we'll just have honesty a... i think we could probably have one person tank all okay time. yeah may, yeah maybe we'll yeah we'll just put one off like like a, a dacial or something would be good for that um and then uh we'll put a couple healers on them and it'll probably be fine and, if, and then everyone else will be on just basically just dumping their mana pools into these understudies to keep them alive um like the 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 quote-unquote time limit of this fight is essentially when all the understudies die 
Because then Resuvius has no one to turn to but our fleshy, meaty heads. So, uh... What, what uh, Soph's just said is very important. If you are tank, if you are off tanking a understudy, do not sunder them because you will get them killed when they're mind controlled. Wait, where did he say that? He said it in Twitch chat. In my Twitch chat? Eh. Oh, oh. I thought something don't, was broken. It turns out this dumb. Right. Don't sunder. Don't sunder. Right. <laughs> Thank you. That is you a can great sunder point. Resuvius, but do not sunder the right. Dark Knight, Death Knights. That's Maybe, why having Dakiel tank him is probably da a good idea. Dakiel is a can. perfect fit for this because he <laughs> can't sunder them. Yay! We don't have to worry about it. All right. So yeah. So we'll have the two guys over here. Dakiel will be doing it, and then um. Uh, so really, that really the, the 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 tricky part is is making sure the two mages are doing their rotation correctly, picking up the fresh ones, and then making sure that that there's always taunt on Resuvius. If Taunt drops on Rezubis even for a second, he's gonna he's gonna run right over here to us and just immediately just start one shotting us. And then the next time he gets a Taunt on, that they have they're gonna have to reposition him, and it just becomes a big mess. So keeping uh, a Taunt thing, on. Go ahead. One thing that that's kind of important on this fight, um, this is a fight that Rogue tanks are really good for. If a taunt does fail or a mind control breaks early, oh, you want a point. rogue as second threat so that if he turns and tries to one shot you, you might be able to dodge it. Yeah, so no no faints or vanishes from uh from rogues. Uh just just let your DPS go high. And hope for the best. Yeah. Uh I'll uh uh give me just one second, be right back. Agbar, can you go ahead real quick? Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know what else I need to add for this boss, really. You mind control, keep keep the boss the boss still. Uh, if if the mind controllers are doing their job well, uh, the boss never moves, and we win. Uh, this is something that the casters are going to have to get used to 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 dodge the. Yeah, hurt the priest DPS. Great. Uh, I'm back. Sorry about that. We're gonna have to get used to dodging the shout. Like that's that's just the reality. Yeah, of yeah. Cat casters will want to step in and out. Uh, same thing with melee that are going in on the boss. Just run back here. It's an easy run. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it. Well, Let melee melee don't have to move because we don't have mana. Oh right! It doesn't burn your mana. It's a mana burn. You tricky so we melee. Stay, it's only casters. Oh, love it. And, okay. Uh, enhanced shaman. Okay, so we we have some suggestions as well. Um, no demo shouts on the understudies so that they can do uh because the understudies do do a good amount of DPS to Resuvius. So what while they're tanking them, so that'll maximize the damage. Um. Uh, and we have a, a curse of recklessness them for maximum no, deeps. Don't do that. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's go let's go kill it so i'm just gonna run in here and i think we're gonna have to just kill him because he may actually do damage let's see i'm gonna tempt fate let's do this okay you send them all out this might be different too it's different he gives you time to mind control oh yeah he's just chilling man yeah no, he's attacking i'm interested to see what he unbalancing you if it actually hurts you there's a disrupting. Uh, there it was. 95. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so um, some key points for this fight. The, the pull is important, right? Getting the pull down, that make sure we don't aggro early, make sure everyone gets into the right position when the pull happens. And then the other... Want all of them. Someone take Resuvius from me. I'll get him. the other one. Uh, okay. All right. So the ads are going to be tanked up here somewhere. It doesn't really matter where. Yeah, just back there. You can see where, where Agbar is. Just out of out of LOS, and then, right? And then, and then oh. Resuvius is going to get tanked right here. Here, FUD. Let, let's bring him up here. So, yeah, FUD, FUD will be the – FUD is the understudy. So he'll, he'll basically walk up right here to, to this corner, 
right? So that, yeah. So then Razubis is here, out of LOS. And then the healers stand right here and heal, heal the understudy. The rest are hanging out back here. We have a couple healers. All right. Easy peasy. I yeah. I again this is one of those that I think will be really easy once like yeah, once we figure it out. Like it'll just be it'll just be a knockover every week. Alright. Let's take him out. What what is this? It uh, is health. <laughs> Alright. Cool stuff. <laughs> okay. Um we're making pretty good time, actually. Eleven thirty. Uh, okay, so we have uh, one more boss scheduled after our break, which is uh, which is Gothic. Um, a lot more people than than I anticipated showed up. So uh, after Gothic, we're we're just gonna see if and well and Agbar too. I guess we should talk about it if we want to spend like I don't know how long it's gonna take. Ninety minutes. Maybe, maybe like, well, it, 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 four horsemen will be a lot of it, honestly. Four horsemen's big. So may, maybe we could even just do four horsemen, to, or, or we'll see. But like, but uh, after we finish Gothic, we only have three bosses left, left to go over. So we might just knock it all out today because my original plan was tomorrow. But uh, but since there's a bunch of people here and and since invasions are going to be live tomorrow and people are going to want to be in game, I we might just want to do it all now. Um, also, but so four but, horsemen's gonna be weird because the four horsemen are different in this version. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, so we'll we'll have to we'll be talking about that one a little bit and show. I'll, I'll I have maps and stuff too. I'll show on stream that we can do for four horsemen. Um. Uh. Oh oh, we also have yeah one more note from Sos. Yeah, that that play, controlling Resuvius um, or placing him while you're mind controlling can can be tricky. Cause he oh, cause he can step through the the, the actual pet right that like getting him into position right okay, that's something that yeah they'll just have to kind of mess with okay all right um let's just do a, a two minute break and then we'll be back for these very interesting trash mobs is that just a sword floating and a staff yes it is we'll oh, have more right. we'll have more info in a couple minutes all right see you guys in two minutes. 